In this video, we are going to revise uh, pretty challenging questions involving uh, before and after. Sri and Devi had a total of uh, 2,160 grams of flour at first. Sri used twice as much flour as Devi. Devi had twice as much flour left as Sri. The mass of flour that Devi had left was 60 grams more than what she has used. How much flour did Sri have at first? Right, since this question involves before and after, all right, so let's uh, find the units for the amount of flour they use, okay? Since the question says that Sri used twice as much flour as Devi, all right, so Devi will be one unit, while Sri will be two units. Does it make sense to you? Right, because of this sentence here, right? Sri used twice as much, so therefore the use will be one unit for Devi and two units for Sri. And now let's focus on leftover. The question says that the mass of flour that Devi had left was 60 gram more than what she has used. Right, so the leftover for Devi will be 1 unit plus 60. Understand? Because it's 60 gram more than what she has used. Right, so the leftover will be 1 unit plus 60. And how to find Sri? Look at this sentence here. Devi had twice as much flour left as Sri. Right, since Devi got twice as much flour left as Sri, Right, to find the flour left for 3, you simply take Devi divided by 2. Right, because this is twice of 3, right? So you divide by 2, you get half a unit plus 30. Understand? Because 1 divided by 2, you get half a unit, while 60 divided by 2, you get 30. Alright, so with these two tables in mind, we can now find the total mass of Devi at first. You take the amount of flour that she used, plus the amount of flour left, you get 2 units plus 60. And for three, if you take two unit plus half a unit, you get two and a half units, then plus a 30 behind. Okay, and now you can focus on the first sentence. Since they have a total of 2,160 grams of flour at first, we can now form an equation. Okay, and the equation will be the total mass, which is 2 plus 2.5 units, which is 4.5 units, and 60 plus 30, you get 90. And so this whole thing will be equals to 2160, alright, because that's the amount of flour at first. So to find 4.5 units, you take 2160 minus 90, you get 2070. And so to find 1 unit, you simply punch in your calculator. You take 2070 divided by 4.5, you should get 460. Alright, and so now to find the amount of flour that 3 have at first, you simply let the 1 unit be 460. So you take 2.5 times 460, you should get 1150. And then you take 1150 plus 30, the answer is 1180 grams of flour. 